I used to hide in bathroom stalls to avoid reading out loud in class. The shame of stumbling over words while 30 pairs of eyes watched me struggle was unbearable. But what if I told you that the same technology that can beat humans at chess and write poetry is now sitting beside struggling readers, whispering encouragement instead of judgment? Three months ago, I discovered something that would have changed my entire childhood. Microsoft as Reading Coach does not just teach kids to read, it teaches them to fall in love with their own voice. And the implications of this go far beyond literacy. The Invisible Wound Here's what nobody tells you about reading struggles. They don't just affect your grades. They rewire your entire relationship with learning itself. When you're eight years old and everyone else seems to effortlessly decode these mysterious symbols on the page, you don't just think you're bad at reading. You think you're broken. I met Sarah, a third grader whose mother brought her to my tutoring center last year. Sarah would literally flinch when handed a book. Not because she didn't want to learn, but because every reading experience had become associated with failure. Her brain had learned to protect her from the pain of trying. This is where most reading interventions get it wrong. They focus on the mechanics, phonics, sight words, comprehension strategies. But they miss the emotional infrastructure that either supports or sabotages learning. Sarah didn't need another worksheet. She needed someone who would never judge her, never show impatience, never make her feel stupid. She needed what I couldn't give her as a human tutor, infinite patience wrapped in genuine encouragement, the AI that listens. Microsoft Reading Coach does something revolutionary. It listens, not just to the words a child reads, but to the spaces between them, the hesitations, the self-corrections, the moments of breakthrough. It hears the story behind the story. When Sarah first opened Reading Coach on her tablet, something magical happened. The AI didn't just track her reading speed or accuracy, it celebrated her effort. When she stumbled over the word elephant, it didn't highlight her mistake in red. Instead, it said, great job sounding that out, let's try it together. But here's the part that gave me chills. The AI began to learn Sarah's patterns. It noticed she struggled with words that had double letters. It recognized when she was getting frustrated and would suggest a break or offer an easier passage. It was like having a reading specialist who never got tired, never had bad days, and never stopped believing in her potential. Within two weeks, Sarah was volunteering to read aloud in class. The Science of Artificial Empathy What Reading Coach does isn't just technologically impressive, it's psychologically profound. Traditional reading assessments measure what a child can't do. They create deficit-based profiles that follow kids throughout their educational journey. But this AI flips the script entirely. It builds what researchers call reading identity, the internal narrative a child develops about themselves as a reader. Instead of, I'm bad at reading, kids start thinking, I'm getting better at reading. That shift in self-perception is everything. The AI uses something called scaffolded support. It's like having training wheels that adjust themselves automatically. When a child is struggling, it provides more support. When they're succeeding, it gradually pulls back. The child never knows this is happening. They just experience a sense of growing competence. Dr. Maria Gonzalez, a literacy researcher at Stanford, explained it to me this way. We are not just teaching kids to read words on a page. We're teaching them that they can learn hard things, that they can overcome challenges, that their effort matters more than their current ability. The unexpected ripple effect. But what happened next changed everything I thought I knew about educational technology. Sarah's mother called me six months later with news that stunned me. Sarah had started reading chapter books on her own. Not because she had to, but because she wanted to. She reads everywhere now, her mother told me. In the car, at dinner, before bed. She's discovered that she loves mystery novels. She's already finished three Nancy Drew books this month. This is where the real magic of Reading Coach reveals itself. It doesn't just teach reading, it ignites curiosity. When children stop seeing reading as a test, they might fail and start seeing it as a doorway to other worlds, everything changes. The AI had done something I'd never seen in 20 years of education. It had turned a reluctant reader into a passionate learner. And once that love of learning is kindled, it spreads to everything else. The deeper truth about learning. 
Here's the part nobody tells you about AI and education. The technology isn't the real breakthrough. The breakthrough is what happens when a child feels truly seen and supported in their learning journey. Reading Coach succeeds because it embodies something we've lost in our efficiency-obsessed educational system. The understanding that learning is fundamentally an emotional process. When kids feel safe to make mistakes, when they experience genuine encouragement instead of judgment, when they sense that someone believes in their potential, that's when the magic happens. The AI doesn't replace human connection. It amplifies it. Teachers using Reading Coach tell me they now have data-driven insights into each child's reading journey that would have taken months to gather manually. They can see exactly where a student is struggling and celebrate micro-improvements that might otherwise go unnoticed. But more importantly, they're freed up to do what humans do best, inspire, encourage, and help children see themselves as capable learners. The Transformation Formula what I've learned from watching hundreds of children interact with Reading Coach is that there's a simple but powerful formula at work. Personalized practice plus emotional safety plus genuine encouragement or accelerated learning. The AI provides the personalized practice by adapting to each child's unique needs and pace. It creates emotional safety by never shaming or comparing. And it offers genuine encouragement by celebrating every small victory along the way. This isn't just about reading. This is about rewiring how children approach challenge itself. When a child experiences success with Reading Coach, they don't just become better readers, they become better learners. They develop what psychologists call growth mindset. The belief that abilities can be developed through effort and persistence. I've seen kids who struggled with reading suddenly tackle math problems with new confidence. I've watched children who were once shy about speaking up in class become vocal participants in discussions. The transformation ripples outward in ways that would be impossible to predict. Beyond the classroom walls. The most profound moment in my journey with Reading Coach came when I realized something that took my breath away. This technology isn't just changing how children learn to read, it's changing how they see themselves in relationship to learning itself. The technology exists. The research is clear. The only question is, will we have the courage to reimagine what learning can look like when it's powered by genuine care rather than harsh judgment. I want to hear from you. What was your experience learning to read? Did you have a teacher or moment that changed how you saw yourself as a learner? Drop a comment below and let's start a conversation about how we can make learning more human, not less. Next week, I'm diving into something even more fascinating, how AI tutors are helping children with math anxiety discover they're actually mathematical thinkers. The stories will surprise you. But for now, I want you to think about this. In a world where artificial intelligence is becoming more sophisticated every day, maybe the most important thing it can teach us is how to be more human in our approach to helping each other learn and grow.